So on today's market breakdown, we are looking at the DXY, AUD, JPY, Euro, JPY, and NZD, USD. So I'll start with the DXY on the weekly chart. And then let's zoom out the price action. And then looking at left, you have like this high here. And then you have this highest high around here. So already people are caught in the wrong side between this high here between this high area here just because we got like price action pushing to the upside very correctively and then which means that uh sellers are coming into play in the dxy or in the dollar index and then you have this overall ascending channel with a one two three at the top of the structure like this and then you had like some pattern extension right around there and then key term for the lows you have this type of ascending channel and then the 90 percent rule around this area and then moving to the daily chart that is where you'll get like uh, some price action at the top of the structure and then catering like for the current market structure you have like this pattern at the top like this and then i can remove like this ray line here just because it was catering for that mass psychology area. And then let me just do this. And then there are 90% rule around here. And then you have your highs at the top. And then what I'm thinking uh, the market will do in this scenario is that we will get like a third touch of which it's around this area here. Or we can get like a override at the top of the structure, double top and then push to the downside and then some type of continuation in a form of a tight flag six to eight hours and then that is when you get like those push downs on the dxy so i think we are done with the dxy just because there's no need to get like too deep on it on it just because we don't trade it so let's move to aud jpy we'll just remove everything put it back so on, in, on aud jpy let's move to the weekly chart then on the weekly we have like two us uh, two high value areas which is this one and this one around here and then it has been pushing to the upside for the longest of time then i think we may get like reversals from this area here up until we reach like the 90 percent rule so let's uh, draw out the overall structure and we have this ascending channel like this this large ascending channel and then we have this 90 percent rule and then already around here we got people caught in the wrong side another thing that we should look at is that price is correcting in one area around here of which it shows us that we will get like some selling pressure soon enough to reach like the 90 percent rule and then moving to the daily that is where like i filter out like everything if we have like patterns but then patterns that's where uh, i cater for them so we have this one, two, like this pattern on its own. And then you'll see it like on the lower time frames. And we have this pattern on its own around here. And then we already had like this push down around here. Just do this. We had like the push down. And then it seems like we are correcting to get like another push to the downside, breaking this uh, trend line around here, reaching the 90% rule. So let's move to a lower time frame so that we can uh, get to see what's happening. So let me just remove that, this one here, this one here. And then moving to the four hour, okay. That is where you'll see everything clearly. Let me just put them in the right format. This first entry around here as the tight flag on the one hour time frame, and then we have this uh, larger pattern trying to form up around this area here. Let's check it. That's our continuation pattern. And since the market is about to close, I think I can just put like my uh, pattern like this, and then I have this override around there, just because the market can just get to this point and then just sell off from there. Another scenario that we can have is that we can get like a one, two, and then this will be like the middle section, and then this.
this would be like a push to the upside and then we have like a third touch here that will give us like those selling opportunities from there and let's move to the hour chart and let's see uh, what we have on the hour so on the hour chart you can clearly see like those that uh, entry that i was talking about around this area here and then as long as you have like two bottoms then it's a valid entry and then you have the larger flag then you have like an impulse corrective move here an impulse corrective move impulse to the downside larger corrective move and then we expect the third touch or the double top uh, override and then we get like some selling opportunities you can either enter the trade like at the third touch of which is around this area here for a risk entry and then you're protected by this uh, outer structure around here and then let me try and get this a little bit large so that i can see everything so you are risking about 30 pips on this entry and then your first take profit is at the third touch of the downtrend of this uh, larger pattern here and then the outer structures is about 11 percent and then not forgetting that you are aiming for the overall uh, larger target of which is the 90 percent rule for about 40 percent and then you can get like entries uh, so that you can scale in not only one trade at the top of the structure but you can get like more entries on its way down and then the second entry would be this one around here let me just do this and then the second entry would be this one here whereby the market will be approaching the double top area and then you get like a first push down and then a tight flag the reason why you're entering a tight flag is because you are not protected by any structure it's only like the double top so that is why you can wait like for a confirmed entry a more confirmed entry of which is a tight flag six to eight hours and then you look at the inflection point that you have see if you can manage the trade just because it can give you like a clear push down and then retrace back without you putting like your stop loss to break even so you have to cater for that and then let's move to another pair of which it's a euro jpy so on euro jpy we start on the weekly chart and let me just refresh everything and then on the weekly chart we have this highest high around here of which the market is currently approaching and then we have this high here and then we have this as our lowest low here and then as you can see here we have like we have been pushing to the upside for the longest even on this one and then you can cater for that with a trend line like this and then another one like this so i'll just uh cater like for this uh current market structure around here and then you have your first touch of which is here second touch of which is here and then you have this pattern extension of which is approaching the mass ecology area and then at the lows you have your one two and then we're expecting the third touch to hit the overall lows around there and then let me just put like the 90 percent rule around there and then moving to the daily chart that is where i'll be catering for that pattern extension so on that pattern extension this is what we're going to do so now we have a nice angle that we can use like this and then the only way you can enter this trade is whereby you get like a third touch at the top of the structure of which it's around here and then this third touch will be in line with the mass psychology area just because price will be pushing to the upside and then people will be caught in the wrong side expecting like a retest to push to the upside and then that is when the market will give us like those drops those heavy drops in the markets so let me just do this and then let me just remove that and then that is when you get like those drops and then people will be caught in the wrong side so let's move to a lower time frame the four hour and let's look at the four hour and see what we have on the four hour so on the four hour we have like a pattern within a pattern so let me just cater for that so we have this ascending channel within an ascending channel and then that shows us that uh, the market will just commit to our selling uh, positions if we get like some selling opportunities on this uh, pair so 
in that pattern within a pattern we have like a first touch second touch and then this would be our middle section since it's very corrective and then we're expecting a clear push to the upside third touch and then we look for selling opportunity it can, it can either be like a risk entry let's say you are entering a risk entry of which it's around this area here and then your stop loss would be slightly around this area just because we know that the market can just give us like a larger third touch in there so it can be slightly larger just because you're protecting yourself and then your first take profit is at the outer structures which is about 5.4 and then the 90 percent rule of this pattern it's about 18 percent and then you are uh, anticipating to reach like this overall 90 percent rule for 20 percent so that can be like our first entry and then our second entry would be the market reaching this outer structure third touch and then we look for a risk entry firstly it's a risk entry if you miss like the risk entry then you can look for a clear push down clear push down and then six to eight hours of which this is a more confirmed entry and then you look for your selling opportunities right at right below this area here your stop loss is just above and then you're also aiming for the 90 percent rule and the overall outer structures on this pattern also or this pair and then moving to our last pair of which is nzd usd let's switch to the weekly and then on the weekly chart we have this type of price action and then we have the slow here and then i'm catering for the week just because the market tends to feel like those weeks so i'm catering for it and as you can see here we haven't touched those weeks or people are not caught in the wrong side of which that is a big problem and then let's move to the daily and see what we have on the daily so on the daily we have like this nice decent in channel and then let me cater for those areas and then we have like this type of price action currently and then what i can see is that uh it's moving correctively like this uh leg here is very very corrective on the lower time frames and that is not like okay for you to take any entries and then i think the market will just push to the downside pop this low here and then that's when you get like those buying pressures up until the 90 percent rule of which is around here so let me just remove those and then we cater for the lower time frames and then on the lower time frames uh, as i was saying it's very very corrective there's no way you can enter like any trade around here so catering for this ascending channel i think we'll get like some more selling opportunities up until we break that 90 percent rule or that uh, mass psychology area then we can look for buying opportunities or we can get like a double bottom around this area price will just push to the downside double bottom and then it will be gaining like some more strength to push to the upside so let me just remove those things and then around this area i think we may get like some selling opportunities for the market to gain some strength around this area here firstly and a second opportunity will be around here for us to get like some selling opportunities so moving to the hour you can clearly see that if we get like a, a clear push to the upside around this area let me just extend the pattern so extending the pattern you can clearly see that price will just be playing around this area up until we reach like that double top area and then it will be in line with the outer structures around here and then that is when you get like a push down tight flag around here and then you enter like a more confirmed entry just because it can clearly push up and then give you like continuations to the upside and then you have like a change of structure and then you're caught in the wrong side so on this one you can just wait for a clear confirmed entry of which is a clear push down breaking the structure and then you get like your first tight flag around here for a cell protected by the outer structures of this one here and then for the 90 percent rule as your first take profit or another entry by to break like the structure that is it for today's market breakdown